Hey YouTube, I have uh, I have kind of an interesting uh, video for you. I put together the top five air guns out of my collection. These are my own personal guns. I bought all of them. There's no sponsorship with this. I just, I had to look. I had been thinking about this, like, I like top five of the lists. And uh, I was like, what are my top five guns? I never thought about it before. So I put this together and... Um, I'm a little bit surprised what I came up with, but these might not be the guns that I'm shooting the most recently, but these are the guns that for the money and accuracy, reliability, value that work the best. Um, so to start the list off, if you're just getting into it or you need to get your kid a gun, you can't go wrong with the Daisy Lover Action. This one happens to be a Model 10. I bought going on probably 15 years ago or more. Um, I don't know if they still make it. This is actually made in China, but uh, it's been reliable. It shoots. Um, got some cans set up at 20 yards. So I'll attempt to shoot one. I, I should have put my glasses on actually, but uh, <laughs> um, let's see if I can hit one at 20 yards. Oh, and they're full of water. I hit something. Ooh, I hit that. How about that? So just a fun little gun. Um, this will work great if you're, uh, if you've like house sparrows or something. Um, when I was a kid, I had one of these and, uh, I shot a lot of house sparrows for my grandpa. So, um, I didn't have this particular model. I had a similar one. They're all very, very similar. Um, just good, reliable gun. Next on my list, now this is a 1986 version of the Daisy 880. Um, you can't go wrong with an 880. I, I can't speak to how the new one, how well the new ones work. I've not shot one. They're plastic. I don't get excited about that, so I haven't bought one. I don't have, I have, I actually have a 90 model as well. Um, but very accurate. Loading the pellet, this is a one, they're 177. Loading a pellet can be a little bit difficult, but pumping is super easy. And the gun is uh, really accurate. Uh, okay, I have scopes on the other three. I don't have my glasses on. I should have put glasses on. Let's try for the can in the middle. I'm not sure if I hit it or not. You know what? Let's, uh, I have a pan down there. Let's go for that. So any, any young kid could pump this up. An adult will have no trouble pumping it up. It's light. Um, I'd actually, if you really want one, I'd go on eBay and try to find an old one with the metal receiver on it. But this gun really impressed me for the accuracy. There you go. Um, like I say, they've been making it since the 70s. It's just, uh, I mean, heck, this one was missing a screw. It blew me away when I got out of my collection last fall and shot it. It actually sent me down the road of rediscovering pneumatics because I'd kind of gone, um, gone with brake barrels. And, uh, man, pneumatics are so much easier to shoot than a brake barrel. And with one of these, um, great for practicing target shooting, plinking cans, just fun. And uh, it's got enough power. If you need to shoot a squirrel, you could do that. You could, you could even shoot a cottontail rabbit or something if you wanted to. There's better guns for that. For just general all-around use, if if you need to shoot pests, this this will work really well. But it just it'll teach you uh, teach you or your your uh, kid how to shoot well. It's accurate, reliable, great gun. So next on the list may surprise you. This is a Benjamin 397. This is the new version with the synthetic stock. A lot of guys don't like the synthetic stock because they went away from wood. I happen to like it. This comb, when you have a scope mounted, is very, very comfortable. Um, but the stock is, is it's terrible. It's awful. If you want to shoot iron sights, this is a terrible, terrible layout. The older models with the wood stock is way better. The, the reason for that is this comb is so high it, you're, you're putting your head back here to actually see through the iron sight. So 
the Benjamin Crossman, that, that was a real screw up. But the actual stock, it's well made, has a rubber butt on it. I like the pumping handle shape. They changed how many, these used to be eight pumps maximum, they changed it to 10. So you, you don't end up having to shoot full power all the time. Pumping effort, yes, it, it does take effort to pump it. Would I want to shoot this all day? Uh, probably not, but I have I have shot it for hours, um, and uh, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind pumping though. It's I don't find it to be terrible. One of the things. So this has a different scope mount, a fifty dollar scope mount. That's the big problem with these is the scope mounts, you have to get the, the right one. You don't want the ones that pinch on the barrel like a claw, because I've read in many, many places and, and videos to mention it, you can actually separate the barrel from the pressure tube. And um, I don't know what's involved with fixing that. I don't want to find out. So the scope mount was from Baker Air Guns. It's like $50, it's not cheap, I get that, but uh, it makes the gun able to mount a scope, super accurate. Um, I'll shoot stuff out to 50 yards with this thing with no trouble. Okay, I'm going to take a shot at that, uh, at the uh, pan out there. I'm not sure where I'm scoped in at, so I'm going to shoot low. There we go. They make a 22 caliber version as well. Um, one of my viewers, Duke Nukem, he got a 22 caliber and his pumping mechanism got all bent. Uh, it's crazy failure. I don't know. Um, I guess it just goes to show that um, you're taking a chance on anything. Just really unfortunate. I felt bad for him. He sent me pictures of it. and he, I would have thought that they would have had these things just dialed in, so they've been making them for forever. But I really like it. I really like this gun. So next on the list, this is, I've been doing rifles. This isn't a rifle, but with the stock, this thing is crazy accurate. It'll shoot distances like a rifle. This is a first generation Crossman Marauder. It's actually the most expensive gun here on the table. It's the only PCP and it's really the only PCP I own that I like, um, that I don't mind. I guess I don't mind shooting it because charging it with a hand pump isn't a huge time consuming effort. I just get, get super bored. I hate I don't know, I just don't like hand charging. Um, but this one gives a reasonable amount of shots um, for a hand pump when you're charging it. It's really accurate. Light and handy. Eight shot um, repeater. It's, it's just really, really cool. It's a nice little gun. <laughs> Man, I, I, it's my, out of all the PCPs I have, it's my favorite one. I'm really glad I, but I've also had the most trouble with this one with seals. I've had to replace the seal up here and uh, the fill port. There was a seal in there that went bad. So this one I had to work on several times and I've owned it for what, 13 years now. I bought it in 10 when they came out. Nice little gun and you can still buy them. So finally, last on my list, this is the only brake barrel I'm featuring. This is a uh, Diana. This one's actually says RWS on it. RWS Diana Model 34 Panther. This one had the synthetic stock, and I went ahead and was able to put, uh, used an SKS uh, sling swivel, swivel I got off eBay, and then I had a uh, Michaels of Oregon one in my box I had since the 80s. Put that on a barrel. I have a sling on it. Use an RWS um, 300 fixed 4x32 scope. Man, this gun. It's just so much smoother than a lot of these Chinese, Spanish, um, these other brand of brake barrels I've shot. Um, I, this one's pretty smooth. This one's smooth. It, the, the trigger, it's got the T06 trigger. You shoot a bunch of the cheaper guns and you try this trigger, you're like, wow, that, that's what you're paying for. And just the lockup, it's, it's so well made. It's easy to cock. Um, this one's in 22. The fit and finish is amazing on it. Um, I don't know why they, when I bought this gun, I think I paid, oh, I know I, I'll put it, I'll put it in the, the video. I have to look it up again, but 
back when I bought this gun, I want to say in 15, um, it was 200 and some odd dollars, 250 maybe. And now they went, they, they, they rocketed up in price. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they did that. I think they have a, well, they do offer a wood version now, which is nice with a traditional stock. They have kind of a goofy stock on it, but this gun will do everything and I don't find it hard to shoot. I don't have, I just really, really like the gun. It hits hard. I've watched some videos and guys were complaining about it. And I'm kind of like, they need to spend more time learning how to shoot it because it's it's them, it's not the gun. Um, it, it'll shoot any pellet. It's not pellet picky. You have to go buy boutique pellets. You have to order online. You go to you get your Walmart pellets like I'm shooting right now. Just crossed in Premier Dome. And it does great. <laughs> so there you guys go. Those are my top five picks, different price ranges of guns. Um, you know, if you were to, if you could only, if you can only buy one gun, um, it, it, as an adult shooter, you can only buy one gun. I'd recommend the Benjamin pump up, um, 397 or 392, but you do have to put a scope on it. So I, you know, you just really can't go wrong with any of these. It all depends on what you want to do and how much money you want to spend. So basically everything here is under 300. Well, no, they raised the price on that. Dang it. Um, this, the Benjamin, the PCP, the Marauder pistols is more than you're getting into your more serious air guns. But yeah, okay. Hope that helps you guys. Um, see how this night video turns out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.